What's up, people? In this video, Mina Mahmoud, Habibti, check this out. What are you What are you giving me here, Mina Mahmoud, Mahmoudi? Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, if you guys have any other recommendations for videos or YouTubers, let me know in a comment. These pants have like legitimately, like, these were like. Food combining is BS, my experience. Who dis? New phone, who dis? Kilani Anastasi. Hmm. Kilana Anastasi. Tell me more. Tell me more about your pants, Kilani Anastasi. I want to know. I'm so curious. Hold on, let me get comfortable. Yeah, anyway. Um, any other recommendations? Peoples, mixteeples, let me know. Kilani. And they're like literally like falling off. Like this little ab line, like I've never seen that in my life before. You guys ready for this? So uh, this is exposing myself. Like I don't even care. Like I look so bad right now, but like I just need all these girls to see this. My stomach, where did my butt go? These are tight. My stomach is like legit flabby. So this is like a month after you can see how tight these are on me. And my butt is like gone. My is like legit flabby. So this is like a month after. Girl, OMG, same. I've been denied to myself for a week now because I couldn't believe it. I'm more bloated than ever. Losing my abs and glutes due to lack of protein. Have you seen more people talk about it on Insta? Blah, blah, blah. You can see how tight these are on me. And my butt is like gone. I also have cellulite and I've never had cellulite ever in my life. I've had the most toned legs always. Um, and I have literal cellulite. Mm, you know, ladies, tip for all of you who maybe are thinking of doing a video like this, future YouTubers or possibly current YouTubers. I mean, this is very helpful, but like to really get an idea of um, the changes in your body composition, you're going to need to do them in your bra and underwear. Okay, so just it's for scientific purposes. Like, I mean, this is kind of helpful, but you know, as a professional commentator and video reviewer, it's really hard for me to make an informed judgment on uh, the changes in your body composition. So next time, bra and underwear, please. Preferably some sort of like thong underwear as well. Just, just saying. Oh, you like. I definitely never expected to be making this video, but here we are. Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name's Kaylani if you're new here. So, disclaimer, this video is just going to be my experience um, and some other girls' experience as well. I don't even know where to start this. I filmed this last night, that was very harsh. I needed to get my first thoughts out on this camera so you guys can hear me and hear my frustration like live as it's happening. We are, as a human race, so fucked up from social media and the internet, it's disgusting. And I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go about this the mature way, make a sit down video and talk about my experience and not bash anyone. I'm not here to bash Kenzie Burke. I don't want to kind of vibe with my channel, you know, and there are certain ways to go about certain topics and this is one of them. It's extremely controversial right now. I'm gonna start with my Instagram. So I have a, wow, I'm losing my voice. So I started a Instagram, it's called We Like the um, I started about a month ago, June 23rd, yeah. So just a month ago. And I started it about three days into food combining. And I never ever expected it to like blow up kind of, but it did. I literally was just like, oh, I'm gonna post some food thing. I always told my ex-boyfriend I wanted to start like a, um, a food Instagram, like a healthy lifestyle one. He always told me like, no, it's kind of stupid and shouldn't. So when I broke up with him, that's what I did. No, see, no shame. Yeah, so you guys seem to really, really like it. So I was posting things. Um, I posted this picture. I'll put it on the screen. I said, "Food combining is no joke." Shout out to Kenzie for these abs. Not sure where they came from, but okay, go off. Feeling so confident lately, like, and couldn't be happier. And then underneath, I wrote, "Edit 17 yesterday." Who <laughs> these abs are gone? This was three days into the reset because Kenzie came at me saying, "Like, you know, you're putting out there that I give these abs." I'm like, honestly, I don't know why I said that because that was three days into the reset. Like, I made that body on my own without the reset. You know what I mean? I, I feel like I have so many thoughts. I really don't even know where to start. This video, holy crap! I wrote some notes down that I want to talk about. We're getting into abs video. Before I start, about two or three days ago, I started thinking like, maybe this food combining thing just isn't it. And I was like, I don't think it works. Like, I really don't think that this is right. Like, I don't feel good. And I was like, you know what? No. I was like, everyone's loving my food combining videos. Everyone seems to be doing it too. Like, I'm just, I'm, I must be doing something wrong. Like, I must be fucking up. So yesterday, some girl sends me like on Instagram. She says, hey, you should watch that. So I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And it's Abby's video. And Abby, if you don't know, she's a nutritionist. She's critiquing Kenzie. I don't know what's wrong with me today. <laughs> I really don't. I think I'm losing my mind. Um, it's just funny to me how like women sorry women of america which surprisingly like seems to be limited to women of america because like i'll review these other and i guess to a lesser extent like england or britain or whatever but like i'll, I'll review videos of women from you know other countries occasionally and they all seem to have much more like intelligent values about food and nutrition like they, they don't buy into all this like commercial bullshit i think what it is is that as americans we're so easy to sell to like we're so inundated all the time with, with marketing that we kind of accept marketing messages as truth without really questioning them because apparently like you know the american marketing machine is just so strong that i don't know maybe it's just very effective and very convincing and we just buy into all this like sorry fucking retardedly stupid dumb shit that promises us something for nothing 
And to that point, I remember a long time ago, back when I was slightly more unscrupulous, let's say, um, I read a book on scams and scam artists, right? And the basically what it was, it was written by a police officer who caught and interviewed like one of the most notorious scam artists um, in the world, right? Like there's basically these, these telemarketing companies that will call you and say that you've won a free car, but in order for you to like claim the free car, you need to like buy $500 worth of vitamins or something like that. I, I don't remember exactly how it works, but like something like that. And basically that's what these people do and they end up taking, you know, it's mainly against like old people, but they end up taking you know, hundreds, if not thousands, or tens of thousands of dollars from these people who just don't know any better, and they're maybe weak-willed, and they, they give them the money just because they're getting yelled at on the phone to do so. Um, so, and anyway, the point is that, like, the at one point in the book, the cop asked the scam artist, he's like, what's, what's the secret? You know, how do you, what's, like, the underlying principle that allows you to do this to people so effectively and so consistently? And I'll, I'll never forget this. The guy said, he's like, all you have to do is play on people's sense of greed and their desire to get something for nothing, right? And and the reason I thought of this just now is because this food combining shit, or really any of these fucking stupid ass retarded diets, sorry, ladies, that like all of you seem to fall for over and over again, like you do not learn from your mistakes at all, ever, most of you is that you just want something for nothing, really. That's all it is. I'm not sure if it's, sorry again, I'm, I'm so sorry for everything bad I'm about to say, but this is like virtually only women that fall prey to this. Um, I'm not sure if it's that you're like less intelligent than men, or if you're just more, more prone to spending money on things that will improve your appearance, or if you are just trying to avoid hard work and making the quote unquote necessary correct choices or if you are just more entitled or you have more of a sense of entitlement than average because you're a girl and girls in general, sorry again, uh, tend to have a bit of an easier time in life because especially if you're an attractive girl, like guys will fall all over you to do anything for you. I'm not sure really what it is, but let me break it down for you right now. I, and again, this is nothing against her. I'm not, this, this is, none of this is directed at her because it seems like she fortunately like realized her mistake um the secret to, to looking good is to go to the gym and lift weights and to eat healthy food you know what healthy food is okay forget about food combining forget about it go to the gym eat healthy food and don't eat processed shit food that's it that's all it is there's no free rides you got to go to the gym okay you got to eat healthy food you can't eat shitty food that's it no food combining no keto no what else is there no vegan like none of this garbage okay just just do what i say trust me okay me these food combining like style eating whatever you're watching this and you haven't seen that video yet you need to go watch that video as soon as you click out of this but like i just have so many things to say about this and i'm frustrated i'm very very frustrated yeah so then i posted my instagram and i said i'll put it on the screen i think it just came to a realization i'm getting away from food combining but i don't know yet we'll keep you updated and that's when it blew up if you follow me on instagram you're watching this video you know that it blew up because i just sat there and i posted all of your dms i know everyone's saying i have canceled because i really just want to film this video i'm also having more stuff but i was just like i'm mind blown by your comments and i'm going into them here And some of these comments got me so upset and I'm enraged for you guys, not even so much myself, like I'm mad at myself for believing all of it. I feel brainwashed, I feel just like I was very jaded, I didn't know, you know, what food combined was. And before you start a diet, which I will say, this is a diet I've never, can preach that it's not a diet, it's not restrictive. This is the most restrictive way of eating that you could possibly eat. I have never struggled with an eating disorder, but let me tell you, I struggle on this. I, I love tea, I love food, I love fucking protein and carbs, and like whatever, like don't y'all. Man, this just ain't it. I was watching Alicia Marie's video of her body in a day because she goes to a phenomenal nutritionist that is registered and certified and has years of experience. And she was eating a banana with peanut butter in the middle of the day and I was just like, fuck, I want a banana and peanut butter. And I was like, no, just love food, I can't eat a banana and peanut butter. Why am I going to let someone tell me that I can eat a fucking banana with peanut butter at three o'clock in the afternoon because I have to eat my fruit first in the morning? And all of your DMs and everything is just so wrong and everyone's saying the exact same thing. Exact same thing. I'm gonna read out some of my favorites. Some said, you know, I've been on it for only a week, I feel so fat, I did some research with zero back on it, like there's nothing on it. I'm so pissed I got caught up in it all. My camera's bad and I totally forget where I left off. But I 
girls tell me very personal things on here. I've had so many girls, and I'm like sad about this. Come to me and say, you know, I got a little dysmorphia, you know, I've been anorexic, I've done body dysmorphia, and that's so upsetting to hear. And when they tell me that this made it worse, I'm like enraged for them. And also, like, I'm the only one speaking out about it right now, which I think is ridiculous. I think you can do something to say. I think you should tell Kenzie. I did Kenzie last night, and we talked for about 30, 45 minutes. Uh, we're the end. I didn't really get anywhere with her. Both of us were very passive aggressive. You know, I was trying to state my points and my facts, and she says, you know, I bet you just watch this video. And I was like, yeah, I did, and it opened my eyes, it opened everyone's eyes. Everyone is like, wow, I've, I've watched this video three times now. Um, in like the past like 12 hours. And every time I'm like, wow, like we are all so jaded. And the thing that drives me crazy is that we should have done research ourselves before starting to die like this because there's truly no evidence on food combining. Like if you look for it, it's not there. And even you know, Abby said it, I look for it. I've also met other girls. DM me telling me, you know, it's just not there. Someone said to me, you know, I don't think it's a healthy way to digest. Like I used to cook like three times a day, now I'm down to one. Literally, this is TMI, but girl, same, like same. And you know what drives me crazy? All of my symptoms on camera in previous videos from like last week and week before, where I'm like, guys, I'm so loaded. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm lethargic. I will insert clips here. As you can see, I mean, I don't know if you can tell camera really, but like my skin is not that great, and my skin has been amazing lately. I'm feeling super like lethargic, and like I don't want to get out of bed. I don't want to do anything. I feel like I'm so full from the speak. I can't even explain it to you. I have been eating tums like no other. Like, I honestly think it's like really my body at this point because everything I've been eating, I've just been having this horrible digestion. I can feel it sitting here. I've been like burping. I've just been like so full like the past few days. And I haven't been eating like that much. I'm just my body does not feel right. Does not feel normal. And like I'm trying so hard to get it back to normal. And I'm so frustrated. And I said, you know, I was going to the beach this weekend, which was last weekend. Um, you know, I really want to look good. In a bikini, I feel good, but I don't feel good. Okay. Um, good for her, I guess. For like, I I wonder if this is like, because she seems young. I I wonder if like finally like. Maybe like the younger generation of women, is coming to these conclusions sooner that all these fad diets are fucking retarded I, I don't know maybe it's possible but like thank goodness like she seems to like she realized it quickly I guess uh, as far as food combining not having any evidence I think the whole rationale behind food combining which I've never done I could give a shit because it's like too much work for me um, is that your body uses different enzymes to break down carbs as opposed to protein as opposed to fat so like when you eat carbs when you mix them all together like your body has to use all these different enzymes and it's inefficient and your digestion will be will be better blah 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 I avoid I avoid that entire problem <sighs> oh, by just eating what's day and eating meat <sighs> like just eat the most nutrient dense food anyway with rice maybe or whatever a little bit of carbs before you go to bed so like if you have indigestion problems anyway you'll be fucking sleeping anyway so who cares you know like i'll have indigestion while i sleep because I'm, un I'm unconscious like who gives a shit um right does that make sense am i am i insane um yeah ladies like i, I don't know who this girl is like could probably stand to spend some more time in the gym i don't know whatever but um yeah stop looking for shortcuts like h how about this why don't why don't you simplify things women of the world like just try please like do I, I i know the women out there like i'm tempted to say you guys have boring lives that are empty but i know they're not i know women have much more interesting varied full lives than men men are actually the ones who have very boring lives, right? We work, we come home, we watch TV, and that's it, that's our life. Women, you guys are talking to your friends, you're on social media, you're posting pictures, you're like gossiping about people, like you guys have much more interesting varied lives. Why don't you put more of your energy and more of your thought process into that instead of like, I ate an avocado, so that means I can't have toast, and that means I have to have my peanut butter after three hours from now. And I can't have my chicken with a tomato because, like, oh, my God, fucking really? Like, go to the gym and eat healthy food. That's it. That's that's as difficult as you need to make it. Really, please. But I don't feel confident. I felt so fat. I felt so loaded. And for the first time, you know what I did? I feel like I'm upset with myself because I feel like this is where eating disorder begins. I couldn't go to the bathroom. Like, I literally, like, my stomach was so backed up. Um, I bought laxatives. And, like, I've never done that in my life. And, like, I know girls will take laxatives to, like, lose weight. I mean, I didn't take it for that reason. But I took them because I was like, oh, my God, I can't go to the bathroom. Like, I feel like shit. And the funny thing is, in the videos, I was like, oh, I switched for control. Like, this is totally my symptoms. Don't mind. I switched for control to do now. I think that's what it's called. Last night, I just broke down in tears. Like, I could not sleep. It was like 1.30 and I was like, what the hell? So I've been having really, really trouble sleeping. My digestive system is literally fucked. Every single thing I've eaten, like, the past five days has been so packed up. I'm so loaded. It honestly looks like I gained 15 pounds. So if you guys see on my Instagram, I posted this picture two weeks ago. And then I made the Kenzie Burke video the day after. And I was feeling like my best. Like, so tiny. Like, everything I eat is just like, it sits in me. I've been, like, living off the tongue. I cannot explain. Like, last night I just broke down. I was like, why am I feeling like this? I couldn't even button my shorts. I don't know if it's floating. In general, it's like waking. But it is messing me up. And I had girls being like, no, like, it's food combining. The best part of this, I called it my mind. And I said, hey, I'm having these horrible symptoms. I don't talk about this on camera yet. But I was like, hey, I'm having these horrible symptoms. I don't know what to do. She's like, wow, that's like really weird. It shouldn't be your birth control. Like, have you switched up your diet lately? And I was like, yeah, that's not it. That's not it. Like, I'm doing like this new thing. Like, no, I'm supposed to like optimize digestion. I was so gay. I was literally like, I was so, I was like, no, that could not be. Like, I'm
making sort of thing. Um, yeah, a lot of girls told me that they've filed orthorexia, and I didn't even really know what that was. In one of my videos, she says, you know, I'm a very obsessive person. The word obsessive is literally in the definition of the word orthorexia. Everyone's just saying, you know, I've had a bad relationship with food. Me too. This weekend, I totally let loose. I drank all the rum buckets, all the white clothes, all the chips, all the pizza, everything. I ate it all. So I was like, fuck this diet. I was so frustrated. I was like, this shit doesn't work. I felt scared after eating all that. So I'm currently editing this video, and I just got to this point in the video, and I wasn't gonna talk about this. I feel so strongly about the whole eating disorder thing. Really hate to see girls having eating disorders. I hate it. My mom battled uh, eating disorder for a long time, but I had to put this in the video. I absolutely had to. So I got a comment on my Instagram today. It was my Instagram that I posted. Like I said, I went on like a little vacation this weekend. I enjoyed myself. I drank. I ate. I said, fuck this week. My mind doesn't work anyway. I was just trying to be inspiring. Write you guys a happy Monday post and just be uplifting. Like just give you guys positivity and say, you know what? If you ate like this weekend, it's okay. Like goes on. Like it's fine. You know what I mean? One of the parts of this comment pissed me off so much. She said, I'm glad you enjoyed your, we get your vacation. Felt good about your reading. I have been like this too. But don't you think this is something to why you're gaining 10 pounds rather than laying it on food combining? And I believe in the comment and I blocked her. Because I don't need someone body shaming me or telling me that, you know, this was probably the reason I gained 10 pounds. No. So then on my personal account, I post this picture of me drinking a rum bucket. And she says, is this part of the food combining diet? Now this one I think is considered trolling. I don't know how trolling the internet works. Like I have like no subscribers. So she sent me my story and she says, since you blocked me on your food account and we're too short to just answer my nice word comment, you clearly could have gained weight from other things that you began to look cost of size bag. Hit these and alcohol. So please stop bashing Kenzie who's just trying to help and support other women with weight loss. I'm not trying to bash Kenzie. I'm speaking on my experience with me and a million other girls are also frustrated. So I say, how dare I be an average college student go away for the weekend? I also got another comment um, from a story actually I posted of this like vegan lemon bread I posted saying, oh, this is probably why you're gaining weight. This right here is a problem. This right here is where orthorexia and eating disorders start. When you start being so restrictive, you can't have a weekend of eating like crap. You know, oh my god, you can't eat a piece of lemon bread or a cookie. This is exactly where it begins. This is exactly what Abby is preaching. And I completely agree. So if you're gonna sit there and judge me for eating pizza and drinking on the weekend and saying fuck this diet, like you will be blocked. I'm just letting you all know. You can't let loose and enjoy yourself. That's a problem. I developed a bad relationship with food. I wanted something sweet after dinner. I'm like, well, I can't have this mango. That is not a good relationship with food. If you're, if you're asking me, that's not good. I can see both sides of the whole, you know, Kenzie and I are forcing them to do this. But in a way, you know, you have a big following. You get people like Kenzie Elizabeth, Matt McDonald, Emma McDonald, all of these other girls, and they're all preaching. When you have, you know, influencers that have hundreds of thousands of girls following them and are saying, you know, listen to Kenzie, like we're all gonna listen to her. Like that's just, uh this girl seems pretty sane for a girl honestly like very logical good for her i, I don't know is this like is this typical of young girls now where they're like slightly smarter <laughs> i don't know maybe <laughs> it's possible I, I don't think so i think she's just smarter than average good for her um yeah like why why are you making it so difficult like just I, I, have i said have i not said this like a hundred times in this video just like and I love Kenzie Burke, don't get me wrong. She was my original YouTube crush, probably to this day. I think she might hold the top spot, to be honest with you. Uh, I think food combining is retarded. I'm pretty sure I said that in the video that I did of hers as well. Because, again, it makes things much more complicated than they need to be. And if you've seen any of the like five bazillion videos that I've made, including this one, you know that I recommend as simple an approach as possible which I will repeat it again. Haven't I said it already? Like, eat a lot of meat, eat once a day, and go to the gym and lift weights. Like, that's it. Like, whatever you want to eat, you want to eat fruit after your meat, you want to eat rice, you want to eat avocado, you want to eat peanut butter, you want to eat fucking donuts. Like, I don't give a shit. Like, eat whatever you want after your meal. Big deal. Go ahead, eat it, have fun. Go crazy. You know, by, by the time you experience like any anything bad like you're going to be going to sleep anyway who gives a shit you know you're going to lose weight you're going to look better your metabolism is going to go through the roof you're going to burn a lot of fat like why make it so hard like ladies why do you have to make it so difficult all the time fuck really why what's what's your what's your attraction to like unnecessarily complicating things actually now that i think about it this is kind of like what women do in relationships as well it's like things will be going fine with a girl and then she'll fucking just like throw you a curveball and be like you're like, what? Why? What? Things are so good. Like, wh why Why are you being crazy? What's going on? <laughs> um, but she seems kind of normal, I guess. So, yeah, I don't know. Let's, what is this? Even? But it's, no, she never forced anyone. Obviously, no one forced you to do a diet. Another thing that made me really sad was some girl came in and said, I'm sad I'm not going to fit in my wedding dress. I felt so bad for her when she said that. I honestly get emotional thinking about that. Like, that is so sad. The thing is, if you're watching this video and you are one of the hundreds of girls that are DMing me, you need to speak up because no one will know if you don't speak up. I've always been one to go, you know, against the crowd. And I'll speak up for what I believe in. And I believe that this is not right. I don't think it's right to do. It's just so upsetting because there's literally, like, no research on it. And it just blows my mind. I feel like I have so many things to say and I should have written them all down. One of my favorite DMs was, damn dude, same. It felt good for the first couple days, but then shit got worse. Literally me. I preached it out for like a week. And I was like, oh, wait. I don't know if it was so good. I had the most terrible sleep ever. Me. Lost all motivation to go to the gym. Me. I talked about this in a vlog probably two days ago. Due to a lack of energy. Same. I feel fat yet hungry all the damn time. Same. Whatever they say, this shit clearly is not healthy at all. So now I understand that there's so many problems with this. Ugh. So now I understand that there's so many problems with this time diet. Thank you so much for standing up and making things clear. Love you. I was on week three because you reset. I felt sick. I was bloated. My muscle was practically gone. And I really like for Kenzie to see this. I sent her a bunch of DMs that girls sent me. And she just was just kind of like, oh, sorry, it didn't work out. If you're watching this and you're a girl back to buy it, come to me. Follow my Instagram. We can all eat healthy, whole foods, and feel our best. And eat regular goddamn foods. I'm going to go eat a chicken burger for lunch. The Trader Joe's chili chicken burgers. So fucking good. What? And why can't I have that on bread? Please. I'm so glad that Abby's video has surfaced the internet. And I just really wanted my voice to hear. I really did. And I hope I did this in the most enjoyable way possible. Like I said, I wasn't here to attack anyone. All right, I've seen enough. Um, good for her, and and I think pretty sure what she's saying is what I'm saying, which is like eat healthy food and work out and just eat clean whole food. Really, like is that is that so hard? Like honestly, like I I don't understand how people how like how is fitness like a, a multi bazillion dollar industry? Like how is it one of the most lucrative industries in the world? Really, I I honestly don't understand, and this is
trying to like be in the fitness industry people message me sometimes i get emails they're like do you offer like health consulting or like weight loss consulting and i, I love like I'll, I'll take your money sure but like what do you want me to tell you like watch one of my videos and you'll hear me say it eat meat eat once a day and don't eat shit food like seriously what the fuck like how, how what do you want me to consult you about like here here's the deal everyone like you want me to consult you you don't need me to because i'm going to tell you the exact same thing that i tell you in all these videos like i maybe i could give you some tips on working out but you know do full body workouts fine <laughs> hit all your body parts like do you know what your body parts are like arms shoulders chest back legs abs done that's it like do you need me to tell you that a anybody who comes to me like okay straight up i get a lot of questions and they're like can i do this can i do that and i get a lot of questions people are like hey like you know i want to eat carbs at the end of the night should i eat fruit or should i eat rice and it's like try both see what you like better like what do you want my opinion for like i'm going to tell you like which one's better for you like try it it'll take you two days to try both one day you try rice the next day you try fruit done like really like how, how could i consult you if I consult you, I'm going to ask you three questions. Are you eating once a day? Are you eating mostly meat? And are you going to the gym and lifting weights? If the answer to any of those is no, I'm going to say, okay, good. Go do those things. H how, how could I charge you for that? I'll charge you $500 for that? I'm not about to fucking consult anybody for under 500 bucks a month. Even though I could definitely use the money. <laughs> I really could. I don't know. If you have any ideas for that, let me know. Maybe leave me a comment. Because like, honestly, at this point, like, all right, fine. I'm not like Mr. Famous over here, but... I'm getting a lot more requests for like personal help from people than usual. So I don't know. I'm wondering maybe if I should cash in on this in some, in some way. Anyway, who told me to do this? Who are you? Why do you hate me? Mine Mahmoud. Hamoudi. What are you, Lebanese? I don't know. I'm going to say Lebanese love Lebanese girls if you're not or, or maybe Egyptian according to the hair anyway yeah you guys have any other ideas for videos or youtubers that you want me to look at let me know peace